Okay, we're back in the shed and we're going to look at some of my radioactive check sources that I have. Uh, we've got this uh, uraninite uh, pitch blend. I've got a couple of bits of that. I've got some radium painted dials out of aircraft and watches. And I've got a pretty interesting item um, from the 1950s as well to show you. So I'm going to start off with this little bit of pitch blend. Uh, this, all of my pitch blend comes from Cornwall, uh, from one collector in Cornwall who was selling off his collection on eBay. So I got quite a few bits from him. This piece is reasonably uh, radioactive. Um, it's, so the thing about pitch blend is uh, it, it's obviously naturally occurring. Uh, and on certain rocks, there's certain parts of it that are radioactive. So as you can see, the rock itself is radioactive. Uh, we're getting 20, about, about 20 microsieverts. Uh, I'm using a, a thermo, uh, thermo scientific uh, mini 900 rate meter. Uh, this tube will detect alpha, um, soft and hard betas and gamma. At the moment I have the uh, BCD beta shield off, so it's picking up everything. Uh, it's this section of it here is the strongest. So as you see there, we're getting about 200 microsieverts with that section. So this is quite a nice piece. Uh, that's about my second strongest piece of pitch blend. And this will be my strongest piece of pitch blend. So as you can see, size wise, you know, it doesn't really matter the size of the pitch blend. Uh, it, uh, as long as the, uh, the actual uranium deposit inside it, is uh is you know is richer so as you can see there i'm, I'm barely touching it and uh we're already practically at 100 and i'm you know an inch away so the top of this piece of pitch blend is very strong so as you can see there we're at 500 microsieverts so we're half a millisievert with this and that will be comparable to the claw at Chernobyl um, in its uh, in its radioactivity. Now obviously if I put on the uh, the alpha and beta shield there you can see that that cuts it way down. It's still a hundred microsieverts but uh, you know it's a heck of a lot less than, than 500. So I'll put these bits back over here. So next I have radium painted dials so i have an ingersoll leader radio light um, that dates from uh, just after the first world war and then i have a second world war oxygen sensor from a spitfire so radium was used uh, to make the dial uh, glow in the dark to make it uh, basically that it was it sucked up all the uv rays and uh, it would then glow at night so i'll do the oxygen sensor first So again, you can see there, 100 microsieverts, and I'll put the, uh, the beta shield on. So you can see we're down about half that now, 50. And then I'll do the Ingersoll watch. There's obviously a lot less medium paint on this. And then again, with the beta shield on. drops down to 20 but the strongest item in my collection is a radium painted dial and um, it's this and uh, this was for measuring wind speed and it, it dates from the uh, early 1950s and you can see there the the whole dial is radium and uh, it's got a little, little plastic shield on it so there's absolutely no alpha coming off this it's all going to be beta and gamma and uh, the strongest part of it's here, you can obviously see the little uh, indicator here. Uh, that is uh, quite strong. And uh, if I get this in exactly the right spot, you'll see it uh, practically pegs the meter. So we're at about probably 990 microsieverts. So I'll 
I'll turn that off. We're about 990, between 990 and 1000. So we're on a millisievert with this. Uh, quite a strong uh, beta and gamma emitter. Uh, in fact, I'll show you the gamma. Um, just for interest, just so you can see. So, as you can see, the gamma is only 100 microsieverts, so the, that's a very strong, obviously very strong hard and soft beta emitter. Uh, and you wouldn't want to be ingesting, you wouldn't be, want to be scratching off this paint and ingesting it, uh, or, you know, sleeping it with it under your pillow. Uh, but uh, yeah, I've got quite some nice, uh, I've got some nice sources, and I'll have a few more soon. I'm uh, waiting on a, uh, a couple of meters coming from Ukraine, which should be with me in the next couple of days, all being well. And uh, they have their check sources intact, so uh, I'll be able to test them. Uh, so I, I think I have three, I have three Russian meters. Uh, sorry, actually, I tell you a lie, I have four Russian meters coming in the post. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be testing all those. So there's plenty of videos coming up. Hopefully everyone is not too bored. Hopefully you're all keeping well. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Back from the shed. Bye-bye.